Hi everyone, in this course, we're going to learn how to troubleshoot the problem that the software cannot see in the processors. Whether you use an independent controller or only one processor, you may encounter such problems. So for this kind of problems, what could be the cause? And what should we do? First, we have to see how the controller is connected to the control PC. There are usually three different connection methods. You can directly connect the PC and controller with a USB cable or internet cable. Sometimes you may need to control multiple controllers at the same time. You may need to add a network switch or router in between. And sometimes if your laptop do not have USB port or ethernet port, you may need an adapter in between. Convert the Type-C or Thunderbolt port to USB and the Ethernet board. Based on the three common connection methods, let's see which factors will affect the software detection. Here's a table listed all of the petition courses and the corresponding solutions. And there were four different parts. Let's check out one by one. First one is laptop. Make sure the USB port or Ethernet port is working good. Switch to a different USB port or change in the laptop say whether the issue still exists. The second one is USB driver. Make sure the USB driver is perfectly installed on your, your laptop. And the third one, just update the software to the latest one. And the fourth one is the local IP. Make sure the IP address of laptop and the IP address of controller, they are in same network segment. And then the fifth one of laptop part, is operation system version. Update the operation system to the latest version. The second part is control cable. It may lose or fault. Try to reconnect or change to a new cable. Third part is sending card. Check the firmware version first. Make sure the firmware is the latest. The second one is go check the USB or internet port. Make sure there is no hardware issue. You can try to change to a new sending card, see what happens. And the last one of the sending card part is communication setting. Because most of our controller provide two different ways to do the control, USB or Ethernet. So you need to select, when you, when you use the USB port, you need to select USB first. And if you use the Ethernet port to do the control, you need to choose LAN first. The last part is USB adapter, router, or network switch. First, go check the USB port or Ethernet port. Make sure there is no hardware issue. You can try to switch to a different port, see what happened. And the second one is compatibility issue. Try to change to another adapter or router or switch. Make sure there is no compatibility issue between the adapter and the controller. So for now, we already know all of the petition courses and the solutions. Where should we start it from? Here's a process. We should have started from the control cable. If you meant the problems that software cannot see in the processor, go check the control cable first. Reconnect it or change it to a new one. If the issue is still, go to check the laptop settings. Make sure the control software are in the latest version. If the software is old, update the software to the latest one to solve the problems. If the software is already in the latest, go check the USB driver and local IP settings. After that, update the operation system. Make sure the operation system is in the latest. If the issue is still, go change on the laptop. Next, it's LED controller. Check the communication settings, USB first or LAN first. Do the firmware update, make sure the firmware is the latest one. If the issue is still, go change in the controller. There is some hardware issue with the controller control ports. The last one is the adapters, routers or network switch. Make sure there is no hardware issue with the ports, both USB ports or Ethernet ports and then change to a different port. See what happens. And the last one is compatibility issue. 
change it to a different adapter or router or network switch, make sure there was no compatibility issue between the LED controller and uh, your USB adapter. After all of the troubleshooting steps, you will find a solution for the problems get, and get the issue solved. And that is the troubleshooting steps of the software cannot see the controller. Thanks for watching.